Talk to you about about camp's close and you guys start working towards the game and week. How's that feel to actually get to work uh, on that? This, so far, it's been a little lighter on our legs, but it's more it's more of a mental emphasis on getting to know your opponent and just basically paying attention to detail. Are you pretty excited to play a tactical opponent? Yeah, it should be fun. I mean, I never played in front of that many fans. And, and I mean, you said you sell the tactical opponent. So. Do you feel like there was any motivation kind of in the offseason knowing that you're going to play a big time opponent like that? Does that keep it fresh in your mind? Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't slip with a team like that because they can just explode. I don't know if you're messing around, if you're just not dialed. So it's there's a lot of motivation. Um, it seems like in this last scrimmage, you guys, especially in the secondary, we're playing a little bit more loose. Um, is that because things are getting more simple for you guys, or are you just dialing in on the on the concepts of the We're just dialing in on the concepts, mixing in different coverages. We're just we're just trying to figure out which which what would be best. And between one and two, did you add very much, or was it just kind of you've been working on the same things through? Uh, I mean, we 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 added we added some stuff. We every day at camp, every week we've added plays, so it's still we still added. We'll probably have more plays in two weeks. Sure. Yeah, I mean, sure. we just add plays all the time. For sure. Um, I know that you spent some time in the nickel last year, is that right? Um, and now you're mostly primarily on the outside. Right? Are you playing in the boundary, or mostly or the field? Uh, I've been mostly playing the field. Field? Okay. And uh, how do you like that? It's definitely, you know, you have a lot more space to work with. Yeah. Uh, you got to be more dialed on, on your cover seals. There's a lot more room. You got to know where your help is. You got to know what kind of receiver you're playing, whether he's a slow or quick guy, and just whether you can, you got to get out of there or you can play him a little tight. For sure, man. So, dude, I know that you've battled a lot of injuries in your career. It seems like this offseason was a little bit lighter on that side of things. Am I correct about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, this offseason, I, I didn't come out with any serious injuries from last season. So I was pretty pretty healthy all offseason. And so I just had a chance to get stronger. And no surgeries, right? Yeah, no surgeries. I, yeah, no surgeries this offseason. That's clutch, man. So how do you feel like you are physically after having a full offseason? Oh, I feel a lot better, you know. I'm twice as I'm twice as strong as I was last yeah. season. I bulked up quite a bit just being able to hit the weight room hard, and so it's been a lot of improvement. Yeah, how much do you weigh right now? I'm about 240. Nice. Then, well, wait, well, what's that up from? Uh, it's, I ended last season at 215. Nice. Man. Oh, that's solid. So um, this is now year two playing that buck position. Mm -hmm. um, First off, talking about the buck, if you had to explain it to someone that didn't know much about that position or, or your guys' scheme, what would you say that the primary uh, responsibilities are for you? Hold on. Well, that's the thing with the buck. There's not just one responsibility. Sure. Let's talk about the run. If you're playing the run. Well, right. well, <laughs> well I mean, it's different. It's, it's At the buck, we're a stand-up outside linebacker slash DN. So sure. we, we play the run similar to a DN would. You know, we're a lot of force player forcing everything back inside. Every now and then, we'll spill the ball type of stuff. So. No doubt. Um, do you feel more comfortable in that position now, you too? Oh yeah, I mean it's 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 uh it's just so much easier now that I have all the knowledge that I didn't have last year. You know, coming into it, I was pretty fresh, never been up on the line. You know, never in high school or all throughout my past years playing football. And now I have an, I know the scheme a lot better. It's pretty pretty uh just pops into mind like really quickly now so I don't have to think too much out there. Um, I know that you spent a lot of time throughout your career at that mic position. Yeah. Um, obviously you're taking advantage of what you're doing now but do you miss sometimes playing that little bit of space? You know not really you know I really enjoy being up on the front line you know we don't always get as much credit as everyone else but it's a fun role you know. Yeah. Um, and physically do you think that added weight do you feel that now that you're getting hands on guys? Oh yeah definitely. It's, it, I'm not getting just pushed around as much as I was last year. It's a lot different with, with 30 more pounds going up against guys that are already twice your size. You yeah, know? Right. Oh, I know that it seems like there's been some more depth in that defensive line. Yeah. Do you think that that's easier now that you guys are able to roll people? Yeah we definitely have a lot more depth this year keeping guys fresher so it allows us to play at a much faster pace which is awesome. Um, do you think that also the pass rush is going to be important for you guys. Maybe you haven't got as home as much as you'd like to the last two years. Where does that come from this year? Do you feel like that falls on your shoulders some? Oh, definitely. I mean, pass rushing is one of our primary emphasis in the D-line room. Every day, that's that's one of our main goals is to put pressure on the quarterback and get sacks. You know, It's just a must for our defense. If we want to be successful this year, it's going to be up to our up to the def defensive front getting pressure on the quarterback. Um, do you feel like you guys closed with a strong camp? Do you feel like fall was good? Yeah, definitely. I think I think we started to see everyone emerge from and everyone's roles kind of fall into place. And lastly for you, man, do you think that 
now that you start to get to actually prep for a game and you don't have to go against your own guys, that that adds a little bit of motivation? Oh, definitely. It gets a little sickening having to go up against the same dude every day, but, you know, it's, it's a lot better when you have something to look forward to. Awesome. I appreciate it. How does it feel now that you're starting to get to close camp and start to actually get the game plan a little bit? It feels great. Um, that's what you come to play college football. And so it feels good to be here. Oh, a lot of the work to be able it down. Uh, just a lot of the Just focusing on the team instead of the team. Yeah. Um, do you think that there was some motivation this offseason knowing you're going to play a big time opponent like Washington State? Oh, very much so. Yeah. yeah I've always wanted to play it. And, uh, I remember the last time that we played Washington State, my cousin Clay was uh, stuck on back of the end. And I just like, I just can't just go down there. And play. And, you know, I've always wanted to play against a uh, team like that, especially Washington State. That's awesome. Um, so, can you talk to me a little bit about what it's like to game plan for a big time team? Have you guys kind of started to roll out what, what they look like personnel wise? Oh, yeah, very much so. We started in the summertime sure. just, just watching how good Luke Polk was. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing. It's like the guy's a Heisman candidate and he's the real deal. So, I mean, we have to be at our very best in order to compete with these guys. And I believe that we'll get there, but we have a week left to kind of maximize our potential. So, some of those things that you're talking about this summer. Do you have a, a high level of confidence since you were making next man up as Washington State for such a long time? Is there a high level of confidence? Yeah, yeah. And it's just going to be a little close. So this, just in a one week, and, uh, you know, I've watched tape as long as we had. You're starting to pick up on what they're doing. And so hopefully we can get a read on the plays before um, it happens. So and that way we're playing faster than really are. Yeah. Um, scrimmage two seemed like the defense really came out a little bit more mentally focused. You guys put on a pretty solid performance. But what went into that? Um, I think it was just Way we gave our offense um, some confidence that, that they're going to have a good defense on the other side that's going to go get turnovers for them. And then, and vice versa, you know, from the first scrimmage, you tell that we, we have some good offensive players and they're going to make a lot of plays. So that kind of, both scrimmages are kind of good and bad, just on how you look at it. Sure. Um, you know, if we both have to play like we do on the, just on, on the same day, we're going to be pretty good. Uh, last thing for you, um, a guy in the secondary, Bryce Allen, a senior that you've been around a lot. What does he bring as a player on the field and maybe what he brings off the field as a person? Um, he's just a great dude off the field, really. And uh, on the field, he just brings in just a very confident demeanor. I mean, he's not loud and he doesn't talk a whole lot, but he just brings that uh, demeanor that he's going to do a job. And he knows what's expected of him, and he's just going to get it, get the job done. Kind of that work mentality, you know. He can throw anything at him, and he's going to be able to do that job. And that's what we're going to get from the Awesome, Mac. Thanks, man.